Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before me jump into the topics, may I beg you to hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. Dancehall artist Jamil and the Patriots give back to the less fortunate in a few communities. Beanie Man links up with social media sensation Combo Boss. Spice gives away $1.2 million to five lucky ladies who supported their career and also found themselves into some difficulties. Bounty Killer salutes social media influencer Dan Dan for donating 55-inch TV to Jubilee. Hospital. Skilly Bang and his girlfriend Tavi christens their son. Female artist Marian allegedly tied the knot and Gullibop asks fans for some help and donations. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Spice in people. Now Spice and her Grace Hamilton Foundation teamed up with Magnum Tonic Wine to give away over one million dollars to share actually between five lucky ladies. You understand people? Now Spice made the revelation on her Instagram page and one of the ladies them I believe her name is Chin Power. She actually break down in a tears as me and she did actually go through a little situation where our house it actually burned down you don't know a lot of people did reach out to our support her and them thing as me you don't know say when your house burned down with everything in it you have to call it say you basically a start over you understand people so spice actually posted that video that you're seeing in the background as me you can see chin power get emotional and thing and in the caption spice said magnum tonic wine and my foundation grace hamilton teamed up and gave away a share of 1.2 million dollars to five lucky ladies ladies who have not only supported my career but supported dancehall in some way these ladies have been affected by the pandemic in some way chin power one of Jamaica's top dancers lost her home to a fire last Christmas and became homeless with her entire family. She has been supporting dancehall for years. Official Swatins is popularly known for her bounce on the ground dancing dancehall and is not able to work because companies refuse to hire her. Logo Logo is the life of every dancehall party and is loved by every party goers for her famous crazy style. Mary sells sweets in the parties and is affected because no more events are being held. Terry and supports every street event so this is by far my most favorite show spice it up is back and i'm super happy i was able to do this on this christmas episode i love you all go watch it now on magnum hub tv as my people so definitely a good look we'll have a big up to spice magnum spice um grace hamilton foundation for do something like this as me enough people are suffer out there right now you know especially those who rely upon dance and events for keep for make money obviously you know say none of that now go on right about now and even even if them are do it is not something where you get permit for those so any card can play is me but let me know what you guys think about this great move from spice and magnum is me people leave it in the comment section so now we're going to talk about Gullibop, you see my people? Well, it seems like Gullibop is in need of some help. As recently, you know, so Gullibop was um, admitted in a hospital and thing. You see people? And he had to undergo surgery. So currently, he might look some help from the people, them, from the fans, them, from people who, if you ever rate him, at least you can have a heart and know say so I help him out. Because, you know, people, the man definitely need it. So I'm going to play the video so you can hear what Gullibop officer say. And I guess you can tell me what you're thinking in the comment section. Is it my people? So check this out. Yeah. Right now, more am going to donate, you know. I'm going to run Yeah. Real helping on. Real helping on. Yeah, man. If you want to really do it, don't you? All right. Yeah man, so I want Gullibar for back on him feet again officially and just get the proper help where him need and thing. You see my people, because it's not a good look when you dip on your face, you know. And you don't know, so the other day, I did even do a video on one of my next channel. And I see somebody make a move at talk about Gullibar, ungrateful or whatever it may be. Now, I'm not going to say that Gullibar never have a bad attitude in the past, you know. But when it comes to health, we have to at least leave that in the past and know, say, look, we we'll do it for somebody who need it and thing. You see me? I just saw me look on it, you know, people. Life over everything, you know. Can't talk about vanity and act like you put money over people and all them things, you see me? So, people, them can donate, donate and help Gullibap, you see me? But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And since we're on the topic of helping hands, dancehall artist Jamil is giving back to the people them in a few communities, you understand? Jamil roll up with a few I'm people, them, the patriots, them, and them actually just give out to the less fortunate. Of course, you know, it's a Christmas time now. A lot of people 
people not have it, people may tell you say the thing rough, and especially with this pandemic. So I think a lot of dancehall artists should go out there and help in a for them communities. And it, it don't even have to be a community where you come from. Just do the right thing and help out if you can. You understand what I mean? And just put a smile upon somebody's face. But check out this clip that was posted on Jamil Instagram page. I'm live. Yeah, you don't know what they can see this time of the year where they are give back to a few communities. You see me and say, all the courtesy say myself, Dutch man. Don't know. Show them what I'm going. Don't know. Know it feel for, you know, need any fun. Now have that, so we'll come true to the people and try to make as much people smile. This season, so I said, more over here, so I show to the patriots, then we give a help. Brawling, two colors, you know, right? But you are kind of empty because we don't start giving something already. But just a set an example, or so if we go, you see, I say each one help one. I don't know, patriots, Dutchman, you know, it go. Yeah man, so after Jamil posted that, in the caption he said, Patriots way, the two fist bump and 100, there's even people and even Bugle jump in at the comment section and give Jamil some clapping emoji and things. So definitely a good look. But I want to see more artists that do things like this, is me? Things like this we definitely need for highlight. And I think the more we highlight it, the more people will make one for do something like this. Because when things are get highlighted, it actually make people want to do it more. I just that's what I notice, is me? But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now I'm gonna talk about Skilly Bing and his girlfriend Tav christen their son and i think him son name emal warmington of course you know warmington that skilly bang last name i think emal i'm not sure if i saw him son name pronounced but them actually christen the baby and you don't know the thing a lot of persons are big up skilly bang for play a good father role and thing of course when you see him a post up him son on his instagram page and you know him just a make sure say him dead if him youth which is the right thing for that i think skilly bang is actually setting a good example for the youths them when it comes to actually showing say you gotta take care of your son and you gotta be that man that you're supposed to be understand and people may i tell you this enough artists you have out there where breed some girl and them never even post a child upon them instagram page not once you see me it's almost like them are hide them don't want the people them know what's going on so big up to skilly bang but check out this little clip where we have people and only can tell more anything thinking in the comment section Yeah man, so some persons were also joking saying that the first time actually I see Skilly Bang without him Jansport. You know, no say that man always have on him Jansport, is it? But <laughs> you don't know say there's a time and place for everything. Now Skilly Bang also link up with Popcorn, you know, people. You don't know the annual boss and Skilly Bang are good friends. See Popcorn goes up and post up a clip with him and Skilly Bang. So and I really nothing still I just link them link up and them are all vibes and you know kinda seem like them are all a little reasoning and thing, is it? Yeah, man, people say it's a good look still. Big up yourself, annually boss, and big up yourself, skilly bang, is it? So I'll move on to the next topic now, which is Bounty Killer reacting to social media influencer Dan Dan donating a 55-inch TV. You understand, people? Bounty Killer reacted and actually left a comment and thing. But before I show you what Bounty Killer posted, I'm going to actually read the article so I understand everything, and then we can move on to that, is it? So this is how it says. Social media influencer Dan Dan donates 55-inch TV to Victoria Jubilee Hospital. Popular social media influencer Dana Royal on Tuesday donated a 55-inch television to the Victoria Jubilee Hospital. The donation comes as part of his 12 Days of Christmas campaign launch on December the 13th, in which Royal, better known as Dan Dan, has been spreading the holiday cheer through a series of giveaways on his social media platforms. After learning about the campaign, Damian Williams and 
operating theater attendant sent Dandan an Instagram message sharing with him that his hospital ward has been without a television for over three years. Most times, people neglect what happens in the operating theater unit. We have been out of a television for over three years. So when I heard about Dandan's 12 days of Christmas, I said to myself, I have to try and reach out to him and see how best we can get a television, William said. When we reach out, him respond quick and to be honest, I am just surprised even to get a response. It's a great thing for the Christmas, particularly for the staff. It gives us a little bit of entertainment during the downtime. It's, a greatly, it's greatly appreciated, added Williams. Royal, who also spoke at the ceremony, noted that having been born at the hospital, he was very happy to be able to give back to his birthplace. I was born here. This is my birthplace. And when Damien reached out to me, I thought I couldn't let this opportunity to do something positive pass, given that I have such an intimate relationship with this institution, he said. So yes, people, after that um, article was posted on Instagram, Bounty Killer jumped in at the comment section and said, Every contribution matters, as small as it may be, do it yot, with some clapping emojis, you see me? So Bounty Killer make it be known, so no matter how small it is, because some people feel like, say, if you give this bag of thing in order for it count. No, people, that's not how it works. You could have even give a case of water. You don't even understand what impact you have when you do something like that, you see me? So big up to Dan Dan for you spread some love, and you don't know the positive energy and all of that, not forgetting where you actually born and where you come from and them things, you see me? Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about the self-proclaimed king of dancehall, Beanie Man, linking up with Combo Boss. You see what i people? And I'm going to find that video to be a bit hilarious, I would say. Combo Boss also seemed like she was a bit starstruck. You see what i Kind of seemed like the first time she meet Beanie Man and thing. And obviously this was in Jamaica, even though Beanie Man is in Africa right now. So I guess this happened before him actually flag to Africa. But you don't know if the video does a surface on the internet now. So I definitely like to share it with you guys and only can tell more anything is my people. So check out that clip here. Yeah man, so the one combo boss no easy, you know. You can tell say she does shock by seeing Beanie Man and thing, you know. And you don't know say Beanie Man is a man with on the internet, you know, him know what go on. That's why you hear my jokes, him never there at the party and all of that. <laughs> Beanie man where you want, you wanna get the combo. <laughs> Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this. And oh, since we even depend on the Beanie Man topic, the other day when him performed at the BHIM concert or BIM concert or whatever you want to call it, you don't know say there was a beef between Stone Boy and Samini. Well, it seemed like Beanie Man was the one who actually ended the beef between them. You understand? And what I talk about it, you know, the beef was going for a while now. And I guess, you know, Beanie Man does never like the bad vibes and thing. And him actually called the two man them on stage and thing. And, end the whole beef so i think this is actually a good look and i think what they were beefing for might have been some petty stuff you see me stone boy must call samini a sellout and you don't know it go people every country have artists where beef you know hip-hop you have beef african artists beef dancehall artists have them beef and thing you see but a good for sister beanie man go over there and actually make the man them dip on stage together and squash the beef it's definitely a good look so you don't know say i'm all about unity positivity and love and them things so i definitely did have a highlight like this since we are talking about being a man is my people so let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so now we're going to talk about female artist just mayan allegedly getting married is my people and basically she make a post on her instagram page and she posted up that photo that you're seeing now people may not go get tricked by this because the last time i remember disha ravers did something like this and I never married to get married. It was for a video shoot. You understand, people? So a lot of people have said, wait, Mayan, just Mayan get married now. Me even see over Pink Pinkwall. Them actually say, this the season to be married. First Chuck Fender. And now it seems like dancehall artist Mayan tied the knot. Congratulations, you see me? Now when Mayan posts up that in the caption, she also said, a new chapter of happiness. And she put a heart emoji, hashtag missus. 
you see it, people, so I don't see no picture with no man that are the only picture that I see, you understand? And I feel like if a woman did get married, she should actually have more pictures up and all of them things. That's just the only picture she would push put up. You see, my people? So a lot of persons are left commenting in the comment section. So one person say, well, Shuckle Boss say, hope it's a video short. And next person say, calm down, guys. New music video coming soon. Somebody say, Mrs. Music video. Somebody say, congrats, baby. Do not check us if this is a clip from a video. You see it? Somebody say, new music video coming soon. Somebody say, um, what the people are coming? Somebody said, drop that music video, sis. You see it? So a lot of persons think that this is a music video. And I actually think the same. You see me? You're not going to trick me, my hand. You trust me. Until me, even if I did want me to believe, if me did see a kiss a man now and me did see a little set up on them things, that would have actually make me believe. And me no want to hear about she no want people to see who she married to. Me no want to hear that. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn the bell on. Bless upon yourself and keep safe. I'm out.